Welcome. By the end of this video, you will be able to instantly add background music to any audio file, something like a voice recording, for free using the digital audio workstation Audacity. Let's get started. So you're going to want to have Audacity open. And if you do not have Audacity on your computer, I'll put a link in the description below where you can download it. It is a free digital audio workstation that you can use. Now in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add background music. So I'm going to go ahead and record a short sample here. This is how you add background music to a voice recording. So I have my short recording there. I'm going to have go ahead and play it so you can hear it. This is how you add background music to a voice recording. So we have our first track with the voice recording. Now what I need to do is add the background music. So in order to do that, you can go up to File and then Import Audio. And once you do that, you can pull up the audio that you want to add. So I've got an audio file here. Another way to add the music is you could have your folder open here and then just drag and drop it into Audacity and it will go ahead and create another track. I'm going to go ahead and undo that. So we only have one track there. So Control Z is undo. So we have our short voice recording and we have the music that we added. Let's go ahead and take a listen to what it sounds like right now. This is how you add background music to a voice recording. Okay, so you can hear that the background music is a little too loud for the voice recording. So I'm going to show you how to change that here. There are a couple ways that you can adjust the volume for each of the tracks. First thing I want to do though is uh, eliminate the rest of this track here, the music track, and make it shorter. So you're going to want to be using the selection tool. So go ahead and have that clicked. And then you're going to pick the spot that you would like to start with the de deleting the music. And then just click and drag and then just click delete on your keyboard or you could go up to edit and then click delete. So now I've got a shorter musical track to work with. Now I could make the uh, music softer or I could make the voice part louder. Let's start with making the music softer. So to select the track, I'm going to click in this area here that will select the whole track. And then now I'm going to go up and click effect and then amplify. And so what amplify is going to do is I can actually put, if you put zero for amplification, it will stay exactly the same. If you uh, make this a uh, number greater than one, it will make it louder. But what I want to do is I want to make it uh, softer. So let's do a negative number. You could also drag so that you can get your number that you want. Let's go ahead and maybe do something like negative 11. And then one, you can either preview it if you want or just press OK. And then you'll notice when I pressed OK that the track is much softer. The waves are much uh, smaller. So now let's go ahead and take a listen to this. This is how you add background music to a voice recording. So not too bad, right? So you could keep adjusting the volume till it gets the way you want it to be. If you wanted to amplify this one, the same thing, you would just click in this gray area that selects the whole track. Then you go up to Effect, Amplify, and then this time we're going to do a number greater than one. Now you'll notice that it gave me a number automatically, and that is the best number that it will give you without distortion. So I'm going to go and press OK. So you can see it made it a little larger. So the Amplify effect is one way that you can balance the two tracks. And then there's one other way that you can do this. Let's say that I wanted to have the music start and then the voice recording comes in. Well, at the beginning, I'll want the music to be loud and then I'll want it to get softer as the voice recording comes in. So let's go ahead and move this around. I want to zoom in first. I'm just going to press the zoom in button so you can see a little more of what I'm doing. So I want to move my voice recording to the middle here. And so in order to do that, you're going to press the time shift tool and then just click and then drag the voice where you would like it. And let's put it right about there. And so now I want this first part to be louder and then this part to be softer. So I'm going to use the envelope tool and that's this button right here. So you can click that and you'll notice that you'll want to have the track selected that you're working with. So I'm working with the envelope tool and you're going to click a couple points here. So I'm going to put one here and then let's say here. And what, what's going to happen is, and let's say one more here. So at the beginning, I'm going to go ahead and drag it up. So now I'm making it louder. And then whenever I get to this por portion here, I'm going to go ahead and drag it uh, so it's softer. And then as it gets to the end, I'm going to make it louder again. So that's one way that you can do that. And I'm going to go ahead and play this so you can hear it be louder at the beginning, softer in the middle, and then louder at the end. This is how you add background music. So you can see that the envelope tool works pretty well. And again, you can use either one. You can as you either use the effect, the amplify effect, or the envelope tool, which will both work at uh, balancing out each track. Once you're happy with how it sounds, you want to go up to file, and then you can export. 
as a mp3 or a wave and of course you just click that and then it'll get walk you through how to export it and then you'll have a completed file of the finished product so you now know how to add background music to any audio file using audacity if you have any questions feel free to drop them in the comment section below i do my best to answer those i have other audacity tutorials available i'll put links to them around this video if you enjoyed this please like and subscribe i thank you and i'll see you in the next video